Hey everyone, Mars J Gate here. Kill Switch and Gage are back again with their sixth studio album, Incarnate. I have to appreciate a good album artwork when I see one, and this album has a pretty damn awesome one. But we're not here to review the artwork, are we? We're here to review the most important part of the album, the music. So let's get right into it. Right off the bat, Jesse Leach's vocals are amazing on this album. The ranges he goes to and the shifts between his clean vocals and downright grimy screams and growls are not to be underestimated. Songs like Quiet Distress and We Carry On really showed this off. That's not at all saying the instrumentals weren't on par, but I did feel at times they were a bit repetitious. But there was definitely a lot of things that made almost all the songs stand out. Cut Me Loose is a slower paced song that has a bit of a haunting feel to it. Embrace the Journey Up Raise has a slow and steady intro that just dead drops right into this thrash metal-esque beat and then progressively recedes back down to a slower pace later in the song. Strength of the Mind is definitely one of the top tracks on the album with an awesome beat. We Carry On is one of their slower paced tracks and like I said before, it definitely gives Jesse Leach's vocals a chance to shine. There were a couple of things I felt this album misstepped on. For one, I felt like at times they just stuck to the Kill Switch Engage formula too strictly. Like, it was almost predictable at times. Songs like Hate by Design, Until the Day, The Great Deceit, and Ascension were all good songs. But they just didn't have anything to make them memorable. They just felt like filler music at times. As always, whenever there are bonus tracks on the album, I go through and see how I enjoy them. If I feel they are good enough tracks to add to the album and the experience, I'll include them. So Incarnate has three bonus tracks, Reignite, Triumph Through Tragedy, and Loyalty. While Reignite and Loyalty are decent songs, it's Triumph Through Tragedy where things get interesting. Where it lacked melody, it made up for being one of the album's heaviest tracks with it taking cues directly from, I think, like, Deathcore and stuff like that. It's actually surprising this song didn't make it as a primary song on the album. It definitely shows that Kill Switch Engage can take these kinds of risks and experiment with their songs and still come out with something that kicks ass. Incarnate is a well-rounded album. It has a wide variety of great tracks with awesome vocals and melodies that shows Kill Switch Engage's continued passion towards their music. And it does have its moments where they do have the occasional risk here and there and set it aside from previous releases. At times, it does suffer though from tracks that feel a bit lackluster. If you're a longtime Kill Switch Engage fan, this album will feel right at home with you. So for my final score for this album, I give Incarnate a 7 out of 10. As always, these are merely the opinions of one individual with the divine power of a PlayStation 4, the internet, a headset, a computer, and a flash drive. Remember that these are just my opinions and that yours may vary. If you agree or disagree, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Or leave a like if you enjoyed. I will see you on the next one. Mars out. Hey everyone, Mars J8 here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. March 21st, there will be no Monday Music Recap that day because I will be out of town. I apologize for that. Don't worry though, I have the news gathered up, so I'll probably just double it up for a two-week episode. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoy the video. And this is the most heartbreaking moment of this video, right here.